Okay. Hi, everybody. We're just getting, getting going. Let me see if I can wear this hat the entire time. Hopefully I can, because otherwise you're going to see my flat hair. <laughs> what is an elf's favorite music? Hmm. I don't know, but I'm dying to know. Let's think. I would. Is it a Christmas song or is it a cold song? genre? Yes. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Because like jingle bells, if they were jingly. Are we gonna get to know? <laughs> so we made elves together here a couple of weeks to get, weeks ago just to get me back in the um in the like remind me how I did everything and <laughs> get into the groove and it was really fun. So these are um over here. Let me scoot these back just a little bit. The elves' favorite music is rap. Oh, <laughs> that's perfect. Oh my gosh! And then, do you have the overhead on too, John? Uh, I can turn it on right now. Oh, that's okay. We can talk for a minute. Well, so, what's that? I okay. So we had um, John had he only needle felted once before, right? The rooster. So this was his first three D and. He was like the most stabby sculpty of everybody and made the most unique elf, which is this guy. And I just love him. Um, ah, so we had a really good time and Jennifer went all color and she's got a lot of, um, a lot going on in hers. It's really cute. What else do, I, oh, Talbot. Talbot did like the droopy ears, which is just, I love and like, a big nose and droopy ears is cracking me up. This is Sassy's adorable fat little guy and Kyla's like chubby cheek guy, which I totally love. So that was a lot of fun. So this is a, um, this, I'm going to work from the supply pack. Um, I figure a lot of you guys might have the supply pack. So that is what I will work from. So we're all the same. And if there's anybody who's a beginner, uh, I'm going to try to work slowly and really, you know, really go through the process so we can hopefully all make something together. So I hope you guys are felting today. We've had a few uh, felt alongs that weren't actually felt alongs. <laughs> so I've been looking forward to this and working together. So yeah, Marsha's here with me. Say hi, Marsha. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get the coffee yeah. in. It's like my fourth cup today. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the supply pack has some fun yarns, which are great for wrapping your elf up. It looks like, like he was trying to help wrap presents and got, or decorate the tree and got a little tangled up. And each one is made on a pipe cleaner. So that's what we're going to start with. And with the new core, you know, when we developed this kit, um, we had the older core and the new core colors are so vibrant. The last couple I made, I just used the core um, and I used the top coat just as a stripe or an accent. This guy has, has polka dots. So with the new core, um, you have even more color options because they're very pure and bright. There's a lot of fun, bright colors. I really like making them, you know, not just traditional red, but like kind of wacky, like greens and pinks and bright blues. So. Um, so before I just kind of like head into instruction, does anybody have any questions or any extras? <laughs> um, so <clears throat> what kind of bread do elves make sandwiches with? It's my favorite thing. I used to have a Scottish neighbor who lived next door, this little lady, and she made the best kind of, I don't know, it shortbread. It? Shortbread. <laughs> <laughs> Although sense. it was more desserty than, you know, <laughs> bready, but yeah. All right. John, we can have uh, this on. Okay, thank you. And that way everybody can see 
what's going on. So we're going to start with, oh, I have some notes. because I. <laughs> okay. We're going to start with a pipe cleaner and fold it in half. And just, this is going to be, it's super simple. The hat and the body, and then the end is going to be legs. So we want to just twist together four inches, just really loosely twist. You don't want to twist this tightly. It almost kind of like has its own little um, twist that it wants to do. And then, so you'll have four inches of twist and two inches left of feet. So you could measure both things. You could measure your twist and then you can measure your feet. And sometimes I fold them over, sometimes I don't. Um, if you don't fold them over, you might get a more refined tip. Um, and if you do fold them over, it can be a little chunkier. But mostly this one, I don't know if I, if I didn't, if I didn't, then it might be a little pokey. That's the only, that's the only thing. But if this one looks like I didn't, but sometimes their feet get totally hidden by their big bellies anyway. So, so the first thing I do is wrap the feet and maybe you guys have already made your color choices. Um, you can use core, you can use top coat. They both work really well. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't remember. Is this time? I don't remember that being in there. Oh. I didn't use the kit um, for a while. Huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to pick out my color scheme here. I think I'm going to do time and gold. And then gold and time. Actually, I'm going to do. I'm going to do time feet and gold body. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to start with about a five inch piece and I'm going to split that in half. And if you're using core, um, same thing, depending on how thick the core is, you might need to break it down a little bit more. So, and I like to start at the base and go out. Oh my gosh, when we were felting together here, I had a bunch of rebels in here. I had Talbot starting at the end going this way. I had um, Faith air stabbing. I had <laughs> um, no, Jennifer no. just like, don't even look at me. She just was like all independent. She's like, I'm, I just do my own thing. And I don't remember, how were you breaking? You were air stabbing. No, I was <laughs> Let me see. Does the Zuli tool have measurements on it, or is oh, it yeah. the um? It's not the Zuli tool, is they it? They both do. Oh, they both have inches on them. Oh yeah, oh. John. Okay. John was rolling instead of wrapping. It was it was just really funny. <laughs> it was like, yeah. But everybody, you know, everybody going for it. Uh, yeah, going for it and came out great and had fun. I'm, glad, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know how day. much fun everybody had, but I had fun. So I'm gonna take this half. And it usually takes two pieces to build up the foot. Um, I'm gonna go out to the end. So a, yet another thing you could do, and we did this I think on the raccoons and a few things, is you could wrap, leave it unbent. If you have a hard time getting your little ends covered, you could go out to the end, just fold that tip over, and then keep going back. And that gives you the most likely uh, well covered end. I actually found the core, the new core, to be even easier to use than the top coat. I've been using it a lot so. by itself, just the core itself. Yeah. What and is then, going on with the weather today? Like, is it going to rain or? It just. It feels like really dark. Yeah, it's just sprinkling, I think. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll do the other side and then I'll do another piece up and back. Um, but trying to keep the tip skinny and pointy and kind of build up the back of the foot a little bit. Yeah. I like that going up and back. Yeah. That's how we get our cone With, shapes too. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of money do elves use? 
I'm so bad at I'm so bad at <laughs> at um, instructing and well I'm just bad at coming up with joke answers anyway I don't know what jingle bills jingle bills <laughs> jingle bills jingle bills there there's some <laughs> <laughs> and then what's the first thing elves learn in school I don't know the alphabet <laughs> I was like. The ABCs, but I didn't quite make the connection. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm, you know, better in hindsight than reading the I'm answers. I'm totally needing this time uh, today. And bear with me because I got clocked this morning. Ooh. And, yeah. And John said to me le earlier in the week, um, is it going to be hard to do the felt along if you get... Because you were doing boxing, far. right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> a few little loose things in there. I got a little rattled. And when I got home, I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it all back together right now if I seem a little off. If all you, right. If you miss anything, I'll help you Okay. Out. <laughs> it's good to have more than one, <laughs> one brain going on here today. So that's, um, that's one layer. And now I'm going to put a second layer on. And this time I'm going to work on building up the back of the foot a little bit. So I'm going to linger there and then come forward. But I want to keep the toe pointy. So I'm going to go back. And if anyone has any questions, like while we're doing this, general, you know, techniques or anything at all, um, please ask them. I think you know, this is a simple enough project and, and it does help slow me down, um, you know, to stop a minute and answer some questions and stuff. I think it's really cool that we have such a great community that everybody's on here chatting together. Oh, yeah. Like, it's awesome. you know, it's just. Sometimes I go, um, I rewatch because I don't get to see the chat while we're live. So I rewatch and really, really enjoy, <laughs> like, I, it's all the I feel like I'm there again so mm -hmm. it is nice to see all the comments and you guys are funny they really are uh Audrey's asking what do you mean by clocked so I don't know if they oh I went and I, 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 I started boxing and then I was like I can spar I'm gonna spar and so I sparred this morning and I um did two two minute rounds um with like uh two young women and yeah I got so do you wear like mouth and guards and gloves? Like mouth you... guards, headgear, like you know, gloves, you everything. But um, yeah, and he put it right up there on uh, on Facebook. <laughs> oh no! I we'll have to find it and Someone? post it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <it's awful. laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna slow down. Okay. So um. How long should an elf's legs be? <laughs> I don't know how long. Just long enough to reach the ground. <laughs> just you know. Wait, mine are just long enough. Uh, yeah, mine right. Don't quite well, reach the ground. That's one here. of those jokes online that like you substitute anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Riley that I got to be a Santa helper. Um, one year when I was younger, I got to be an elf for a little while to help hand out candy canes. Oh, that's fun. Where? Um, At Macy's? Just, no, there was a fire truck that came around, and the fire company asked if there were any little elves around, and I volunteered. I had the pointy ears, grew them for the day, had my little shoes with the jungle bells on them, and the hat. It was that's fun. <laughs> I was heading, um, heading to boxing on Thursday, and people were lining the streets on Cleveland Avenue. Oh, wait, and it was the tree, wasn't it? Was it? <laughs> yes. So yes. people were like sitting on the curbs, out on roofs, sitting on the porches. It's a um, University of Delaware is there. So it's tons of students. But then on the um, this part of the road where it's all the car salespeople, at, all of them were out. And I was like, who's coming? What's happening? Yeah. So the tree for Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center this year is coming from Elkton. So it was going right by. And I'm, I, my timing was so good because I was about five minutes in front of it. If I had been behind it, oh yeah, apparently it could only go 20 miles an hour the entire way. 
Well, I drive the back <laughs> way to get here, uh-huh. and actually, and um, as I came up to, uh, is it 896? Yeah. Through White Clay Creek Park? Yep. I um I stopped, and I saw all these big, like this big flatbed with this weird thing, and I was like, oh my gosh, I bet that's going to the tree. Yeah. And then all these tree, like, trucks behind it, so they were, like, on their way in to pick it up. And I was like, I am so happy I missed it. Yeah. Because getting stuck in that traffic, like, on the yeah. other side, mm-mm. So apparently it was very impressive, um, 80 foot Norway spruce laying on the back of a truck. It had a whole entourage and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. I saw a post and they were saying how, you know, a lot of the trees, you know, the trees only live for so long because a lot of people are, you know, oh no, they're cutting down a tree and, but trees, you know, they get diseases, they get pests Mm -hmm. and then they eventually can fall and die. So, you know, that's one of the things that they said as the arborist came around and was looking for trees, you know, that size. They yeah, they live for so long anyway. Then they can get tree dam or wind damage from storms and yeah. We had a lot of white pines come down where we are, um, and with the hurricanes and the yep. tornado touching down, we had a lot of tulip poplars. It was I crazy. Have a gigantic Norway spruce outside my, right outside my house, and probably eighty feet, and but it's split. So I'm, every time there's a windstorm, like, oh gosh, I go out and look at us. it, and I'm like trying to assess if it were to go, which way is it mm-hmm. going. So I want to do a gold um, body, and you don't have to do the same color body and hat. I always do. <laughs> you know, you could do anything, but um, I am going to use the gold top coat. But I am going to use the um, chick yellow core as my base. So the next thing that we're going to do is work with. Um, it's going to be about three to four pieces of core. And let's take about an eight inch piece. This one's on a little bit of the thin side, but I'm still gonna split it in half. And we'll need about four of those, so. I was gonna say, one of those things, whenever um, I teach beginners too, I always, I give the example of how all my animals have chunky legs. Uh And I'm like, always start with like a thinner piece and build Mm -hmm. up, build Mm -hmm. up, because it's a lot easier to do that. Yes, you can always add more. Definitely, I r- rely more on adding more as opposed to the needle making something smaller. Right. Like, right. I would rather have to add wool than try to... And when people um, are watching videos, too, it's sometimes hard to... I mean, even though they're looking at things and the supplies are you know pretty much the same, sometimes it's harder to gauge exactly because what they're thinking and then what the, yeah. is actually there. <laughs> So I'm starting at the base and I'm going around and then up. And when I get to the top, these pieces should be long enough to turn around and go back down. And so as you wrap, if you can create a little tension and give a pull and then wrap smooth and tight and then do that again, Your wrap should be tight and smooth so that you don't even really have to stab it. The tip of the pipe cleaner in this case isn't like super imperative to get perfect or cover because the hat, the second piece of the hat is going on top of it. And it's nice because it's already folded over too so you don't have that like, yeah, the points kind of coming out. Oh, what is the first step for an elf to log on to his computer? His or her computer, I should say. <laughs> You'll log on. <laughs> There's a couple more. You guys are You'll funny today. Log on. <laughs> Y-U-L-E. Log. L-O-G. I got some decorations out. You know, as soon as the time change comes, I'm like, I need lights. Yes. I don't care. Anybody says it's too early. it's it's time because you want those like that brightness you do we actually have some that we keep in our family room we have like a stone wall with a fireplace and there's a mantle and we have these little christmas lights like they're just white lights and we leave them up all year yeah and the other night i walked in and carmen had them on and i was like oh it's that time of year it's here it goes yeah you know it's good it's magic all right another piece up and back but starting to build, sometimes I sometimes I go around, I do a little thing around the feet. 
but I don't think I do in the tutorial. But that can give you a um, a better base. I'm gonna say a nicer bum for yeah. them to sit on. <laughs> a nice support area. What's another name for Santa's helpers? Elves. <laughs> <laughs> Subordinate clauses. <laughs> and then here's another one. Okay. What is Santa's tax status? Jingle. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Elf employed. Elf employed. I was thinking married or single. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joint or single. Yeah. All right, I'm on this. My roving is really skinny, so I'm gonna need more. But whatever, so I'm on my fourth piece, and you can see I'm building the base up, and then trying to create a cone, so it just gets narrower at the top. So I need I need more. You guys might be okay where you are. Now I'm getting into a thicker part of the roving, so it's not always perfectly consistent. I was thinking too, to get them to stand better too, it's like you have the core wool that you're wrapping, you have the feet, and then mm -hmm. you also have the little dress gown that goes over mm -hmm. them. So depending on how you make them, they're all things to kind of consider. Yeah. That last piece, like I try to keep them Christmas tree shaped, like I try to between the hat, the face, the and the body, and that tunic. Like, I try to keep them cone-shaped. Where is Kyla today? Where is Kyla She's today? She's taking the day off. Yeah. It's a Saturday. Spend time with family. <laughs> <laughs> she will know she is missed. Okay, so this, this rings true. What kind of cars do elves drive? This is what I mean. This is true. Well, look out the what? What? Well, I I was an elf. I you know go between elf and hobbit depending on the day sometimes. Oh, um, okay, so I'm judging by your car. <laughs> so judging by my car. I don't know what. It's a Toyota. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, that's that's a good. That's a good thickness. It's about an inch and a half wide at the bottom. I could do one more piece on there. From, from here down. Getting excited for Thanksgiving. I gotta reclaim Max's, Max is coming home from college. Gotta reclaim his room from his younger brother, Evan. Uh -oh. Uh oh. <laughs> like Max, Evan took over. Max is like, I figured that would happen. Uh, I was just thinking about mashed potatoes the other day. You um, make a lot of mashed potatoes. I, I remember that about you. I think one year I made 40 pounds. Oh my God. That was a lot what of potatoes. What are you doing with 40 pounds? <laughs> just I give them out to uh, <laughs> different like groups of the family because some people have dinner Wednesday night so yeah. they can see other people. Some people have Thursday. Yeah. Everybody likes. Um, Leftovers. Some yes. people make mashed potato, like the potato pancakes, like mm -hmm. for that weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and some of my nephews are like, I will not eat anybody's mashed potatoes except Aunt Marsh's. Aww. So I make them extra. Because, you know. Cream, butter, both. Oh, I do. So when I, um, I wash the potatoes and then I put them, I cut them up and I put them into a pot with chopped garlic and mm. uh, like the minced onion, the freeze dried mm. minced onion, mm -hmm. when I boil them, so it gives them that oh, flavor. That's a good idea. Of onion and garlic. And then. Um, freeze dried onion? Yeah, I you know, versus the, the fresh onion can be too bitter. Mm -hmm. So the freeze dried, like it's like a roasted, like minced onion. That's, yeah. Where do you get that? Just from the grocery store. Oh, it's just in the seasoning aisle. Just regular. And uh, then, um, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Let me oh, give yeah. a thing. Okay, we're gonna, it's time for the face. So I've got my gnome nude. This is the fun part. <laughs> oh, oh, this part. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the face ace. I, 
um, if you guys don't have the face ace, the Zulu toe works fine. But I found that I could make, you know, the cheeks, the nose, and the ears on different parts of the face ace, and it worked really well. So let's take about a three to four inch piece and split it in half. Oh, actually, the first thing, set that aside. If you did that with me, set that aside. Take about another four inch piece, split it in half. And the first thing we're gonna do is stretch that out. I like to stretch everything, just give it a tug, because it's all like, it's all in here just with its own energy, but if you're gonna go to wrap this, it's nice to just tug it and pull it in line, and that makes your wrapping so much easier because now it's already oriented towards, towards wrapping. It's not all like sitting there waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're always like making up little terms as we go because there's nothing else in life that's like this. So I'm just gonna wrap where I want the face to be about a little kind of lower than you think because they're mostly hat. So about like a third of the way up from the feet. Just getting that on real tight. And that's just gonna put a layer on there. I'm gonna write down what I do for the mashed potatoes. Oh, that's a great idea. That way people know, and then because we can, we can just amazing. giggle at this, and then people can go back and... Um... Because I think I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes this year. I'm gonna make um, pineapple timble, which is like, Ooh. oh my gosh, it's like collard bread. Eggs, sugar, and pineapple. Oh, well, my mom <laughs> it goes uh, like, really well with turkey and apple stuffing. Maybe yeah, it is. Is that kind of yes, what that is? Yes. Okay, that was my mom's but it's, favorite thing it's to It's like make for sweet, me. and then you want it for breakfast. Oh, it's God, like yes. pineapple bread pudding. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. That is the best thing. Um, and then um, so I gotta have something green. Maybe I'll do Brussels sprouts, or just roasted. Maybe I'll do like roasted sweet potatoes, oh, Brussels sprouts. My gosh. Turnips. I love roasted turnips. How wonderful is it that so many restaurants now have really good Brussels sprouts? Restaurants are so funny with their... Oh, like in the last five years. I know. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like in the 90s, it was roasted red pepper. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like they just have their, like, their, their, their in thing. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was artichokes for a while there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might have to take my hat off. Getting a little warm? Yeah. Okay, now ready to make some cheeks. How's everybody doing? Are we um all to this? Everybody's doing good. Small world, isn't it? That's funny. <laughs> Hello uh -huh. in the UK. There's the UK. Peru. Yeah. Wow. So cool. All over the place. So cool. Turkey. Gumbo, yum. Oh, man. I know. It's <laughs> it's food time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> food o'clock. Okay. So the cheeks I'm going to make on the wider part, not all the way like super wide, but towards the top of the faces. And I want to pull this. The other reason I want to tug this is to make it narrower because I want it to be, I don't want it to be more than an inch wide. I'm just going to go around. This might be a little much. So that was one, two three, four, I pulled off the change. So if you have like a fringy edge and just roll it around, it'll stay. Two, three, four. That one felt a little thinner, so I did it extra. Let's make all the face parts before we put them on. So I'll just wait a second and let you guys make your cheeks. So I didn't stab them or anything, I just pulled them off. If you're using the Zoli tool, it's just straight around the round side of the Zoli tool uh, about four times. You could probably make one, Marsha. I was gonna say, I'm kinda like sitting here wanting to. Here. Gotta get my little fix. Yeah. <laughs> What colors do you want? Um, 
you can well I'm just gonna pass this to you because yep. I know I'm using this one That'll be nice and speedy. Should have set you up from the start. Oh, I got a couple more candy pearls dyed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, quick. So, in other news, um, the certification program enrollment went really well. Um, we'll be making a formal introduction to the first. Serafina certified instructors and they are on the website on on Serafina certified instructor it says learn more and it says find an instructor so under find an instructor is everybody's name whatever information they wanted us to include and then Kyla made a super awesome map with little Serafina logo pinpoints where everybody is and when you I can't remember if you have to hover onto it or click onto it the instructor's information opens on the map. So there's kind of two ways to find people. Um, so we, like I said, we'll be making a more, a more formal announcement on that front, hopefully in the next week or two. All right, I gotta take my hat off. Mm. Warm and itchy. And then in about 15 seconds, I can see what my, <laughs> my hair <laughs> looks like. It looks nice and messy fun. It looks good. <sighs> All right. So everybody have their cheeks? Okay. Someone said I'm just watching for the jokes. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to make a nose. I have another half of a four-inch piece, but I'm going to split that in half because I uh, just don't need that much. And, and then even so, I might not use the whole thing. And so I just want to make a pod right around the very end of the um, of the face ace. If you don't have the face ace, I would find a skewer or a toothpick. The Zoli tool's a little too big because we just need a nice tight little seed here. So I'm going around four times again, and I'm I'm pulling off the extra. And this one, you can stab, leave one end fringy, and the other end just stab back on itself a little bit to make a nice round nose. Well, you can make whatever shape nose you want. <laughs> we got some creative noses going on here. I like the little bulbous ones and the little upturned. I know. They're so cute. <laughs> little pointy ones. Um. What Carol is asking, uh, is there a launch date for the new pre-felt? How do you yes, say Yes, in Prematura. Okay. So we're shooting for the beginning of December. We're just, um, we have to finish making it and, you know, want to do the launch justice. So we're getting some more things together and I've been working on it. I'm having so much fun. I, I really haven't, I mean, I've done some 2D felting but I really haven't approached it in the way that I paint. And so lately I've been really trying to approach it more in the way that I painted with oils or it really reminds me of pastels is what it goes on like pastels. Um, so yeah, there's 10 gorgeous colors. Um, and the pieces are between 22 and 24 inches square. They're all hand stretched and, um, you know, formed. So there's, you know, there's some variation, but we wanted to make a size that was a nice amount, but also instead of making a big pre-felt and cutting it, we're making them individually. And so the deckled edge is all the way around. So that's going to look really, really good. Um, and they're from start to finish all made in house, like. Right, the, the color blend is made here and then the felting is, is done here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have a ch two cheeks and a nose and now we're gonna make ears. So I think more like a three inch piece, split it in half, give it a nice gentle stretch.
What do you call an elf walking backwards? I don't know. <laughs> a fle. <laughs> now that's my kind of joke. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard because and you have to really say, read it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Retail. Oi. Is. Now, whatever you're saying is a lot of brain work. I'm trying to say see you later backwards. Oh. All right. Well, you also got clocked today, so don't try too much. Oh, gosh. Because, you know, yeah, it's a lot. I was telling my sister about it. She's a doctor. She's like, that's not good. I was like, it was like Tom and Jerry, and there were birds. Oh. Like... All right. Hmm. So I'm on the center of the Zuli Toll, and... I'm keeping my ribbon a little wider and I'm going around about three times and that's all because I want to flatten this out. I don't want it to be a great big pot. So I'm going to rip that extra off and then slide this down. So it's not as big and poofy as the, as the cheeks. <laughs> oh man, he lives at the North Pole, makes toys and rides around in a pumpkin. I was trying to mix up Cinderella and Elf. Oh, Cinder Elf. Uh. <laughs> See, but I had you the were right there. idea, you were but on I there. <laughs> my brain couldn't do it. Okay. On the ears, kind of a similar treatment to the nose. One end stays fringy, and the other end we're going to stab into either a point or rounded, or but you need to you need to finish one end. And leave one end unfinished. And then all over, I'm felting the whole thing flat. I'm going to grab one of these for a second. Mm And you'll have opportunity to shorten your ear, change your, well, not change it too much, but the placement can help you shorten it. But make it the shape you want it. And it's not going to be further felted, the part that's going to be like sticking into space. So um, felt it to the degree that you would like it to be felted. <clears throat> Marianne just joined us from Australia. It is oh 5 gosh. 35 a.m. <laughs> oh my gosh, good morning. On Sunday. <laughs> On Sunday. Whole other uh, wow, that's that's awesome. That is awesome. I almost need to get you a really nice office chair for sitting there. So I like that, that can, idea. I think that's something that should happen. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Anytime someone says, get you really nice something, something, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. You know, lumbar support. Mm -hmm. Can't have it. Well, you know, you could get it with a little heater, but <laughs> as you say, like one of those shiatsu <clears throat> massage things mm -hmm. for your back. These are actually like, I'm really happy with these. Yeah. We've had these for a long time for all the workshops and Yeah, they just have to be tightened once in a while. That's yeah. it. <laughs> <It's insulitis. laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys came prepared. You came more prepared than I did, I think. Judy suggests taking a break and stretching. Do you need any chocolate? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stretching is always... Gentle stretch. I was thinking that, too, when I was stretching the wool. It's like, we all need a gentle stretch. Mm -hmm. This one I had... Um, I don't know where this red felt came from. It was in the... We have a bin of... Um, like whenever I see a wool sweater, which is very rare anymore, but whenever I see a wool sweater at the Goodwill, I buy it. 
um, and I usually felt it, just wash it, and then um, that's what that's what a lot of these scarves come from. This one, this one's actually cashmere. And yeah, did, that one. Did you put the two little red yeah. stripes on there? Yeah, I just stabbed, it right stabbed them on. But this was like a strip of it's kind of like harder felt. I don't know. I should make something out of it. There's a lot of it. Hmm. It's more like what a rug hooker would use, maybe. I was gonna ask if it's more. Is it like how that craft felt is mm -hmm. a little more it is firm, but like it's not that. Yeah. quite. So we might also make a lip, which is I've been doing. Um, but I'm gonna hold off on that till we have our other pieces in place. Is everybody ready? So, uh, Chelsea's asking about that green chair. Where that upholstered chair? Oh yeah, chair. yeah. That was just a find, like a resale find. I like to treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to treasure hunt and then have a lot of treasures that two years later I think I need to get rid of some of these things. But um, that's a, yeah, that was a good find. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Okay, so this is fun because it just we're just making a butt and butts are fun. So the two cheeks go vertically on the face. So we're just going to start with one. I'm going to tack the fuzzy end down. And I'm giving it a little bit of roundness. Like you don't want to flatten it out. I'm stabbing at an angle that's going to keep it round. And to start, I'm just tacking them on. Oh, I got one cheek bigger than the other. That will be okay. Is there a question? Uh, oh, stick a chopstick. Yeah, yeah, Julie was asking. If, yeah, if... you could use a chopstick. A chopstick is shaped sim. Well, depending on the style of chopstick, but the face ace is designed for smaller face shapes. And because of the taper, it gives you a lot of option options on on face shapes. And very well crafted versus yes, something it's really very cheap smooth. that would give you splinters and yeah. stick into the wool. All right, so don't you know you don't have to go too crazy stabbing this. <laughs> just getting, I'm really concentrating on each side and just kind of getting it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> On there. I'm looking over there, like, I know what's it is. It? because it's a little behind on here. It's a little behind. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's a little behind. Mm -hmm. The lag and all, you know. <laughs> um, so Judy had a slightly off topic. Um, what's the difference between snowmen and snow ladies? I don't know. Snowballs. <laughs> That is exactly on topic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rump. It does look like a rump. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the elves. The bats have been amazing. I've been uh, so, so cool to see all the bats. So people are posting photos on the fan page yeah, yeah. after, and that's on Facebook. And so. it seems like everybody's digging the cold wax. I want to play with that some more for sure. I want to I want to play with it on a dragon. Um, but there's like a hundred things I want to make that I probably won't get to. Okay, so then we put on the nose, and mine always ends up looking like a little kind of turned up, you know, a little button nose. So I'm letting the fringe kind of go even with the top of the butt cheeks. Cheeks. <laughs> so funny. A finer needle is helpful because then you can sort of shape it to do you have a set? Oh, yeah, kind of still. Yeah. Do you, um, there's a bunch of needles. Actually, totally untook, undid this uh, one okay. and took them out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> needles everywhere. I'll put it back. All right. So I, that's all I'm going to do there for now until I, I mean, these aren't, you know, we're not making David here. We're just, 
<laughs> we're just making an ornament, so mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't go too crazy on them. Uh, so Vanessa, when you if you find a wool sweater or cashmere or anything that felt, if you wash it and dry it, it's felted, and then when you cut it, it doesn't unravel because the fibers have felted. So um, that's the that's the trick there. So then the ears getting like polluted the ears you just want to decide um you know how high you want them to go one thing i've been having fun doing is cutting a little um space in the hat for the ears to go through the hat Mm -hmm. um let's see that one's like that that one's like (laughs) i love that one um Talbot kind of like pressed his ears down, which is super cute. So have like have fun with it, make them different, you know. Um, I would felt them on upwards, and then you could decide if you want them to go up or down. But I'm mostly stabbing the fringe on the side of the head, right behind the cheek. And for now, they're just gonna stick up in space until I figure out his uh, clothing options here. And this is where I was saying, if your ears ended up super big, just put them down lower. It doesn't matter if the fringe goes onto the body because um, it's going to get covered. All right, so now he's like all face. Or she. It'll be fun to make little braids out of the yarn and have the braid sticking out of the hat. I was gonna say, I've done uh, the butterscotch and then we have, what's the other, um, the pale yellow that we use for the chicks too? Is that, oh my gosh. I have not pulled orders in so long that the colors just I know, vanish. I know, um, we have so many colors. And there's some really great top coat colors that just work great for hair. Mm-hmm. I know now we have the fur line too, which would work mm-hmm. wonderfully. Um, so I have two pieces I'm going to use the red that the kit was tied with mm-hmm. and then cut it into thirds. And then take three pieces. Oh, well, that wasn't really thirds, Sarah. That's going to be okay. <laughs> Just get this going. And then make a braid. I don't, I've never made a little girl elf. This is very exciting. So the, the supply pack is tied with that, but also do we... Or there the, is yeah. yarn in it as well. And we have the... Um, oh my gosh. See, this is what I get for being in the attic and dying all the time. <laughs> I don't get to socialize. And see You're like else. the what? The, the things that are like the one yard <laughs> of all the um the yarn, the, the Kaleida loop. Thank you, Kaleida loops. Yes, yeah. and all the fun names. You know, it'd be really fun to put a wire in here, and then you could Pippi long it. I was it. just about to say like Pippi. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we'll tie it with the little gold. Just to bring it all together. It's like a cooking show. Nice. Yeah. Why is it getting harder to buy advent calendars? Oh, okay. So my Mm -hmm. awesome sister, who should make an appearance here someday because she's like super creative. Um, She made an advent calendar out of felted wool sweaters. Mm -hmm. And so she cut up the felted wool sweaters and made real simple mittens and hats Aww. and then i think they have a felt number on them and then they're all hanging from a string so i hang the string and it's all mittens and hats oh my gosh that's and amazing. then we put candy in the mittens and hats that that's yeah that's awesome well the joke went like this why is it oh it's a joke if i had been calendars <laughs> oh i don't know why because their days are numbered <laughs> But well, that's really, I'm all serious about like, that. But that's a really great idea, though. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. <laughs> mm. 
And speaking of strings and things to hang things from, I was just reading, uh, Judy had another one. What did the snowflake say to the fallen leaf? What did the snowflake say to the fall? I, I don't know. You're so last season. <laughs> and I was thinking like with the line, you know, like and the mittens and things like that. Like you could yeah. do snowflakes across oh, it. Oh, yeah. Leaves across it. The, um, <clears throat> the snowman balls, the snowballs are really mm -hmm. fun. They're sitting around here somewhere. Well, I would throw it at you, but I don't want you okay. to get whacked with it. So I make these to make... The snowman, which we're going to um, hopefully do in January. We put the boodles on um, yeah, on the That's site. The section, right? And, yeah, but then you can also just instead of, you can cinch this up and just felt a little wool to hide it. And then you could just make snowballs and hang. I have a whole bunch of mm -hmm. snowball and icicle ornaments. Actually, John, yeah. I think they're in this the bin, oh, that's on the other side of you, which is even more convenient. Do you mind pulling out some of the um, snowballs and icicles? Because they're wool, and then Jenny beaded them. And you guys don't get to see them because, you know, we put them in the shop. So this is a good chance to show you. Yeah, that big, it was a big, you had a big branch. So right? we had a great big branch in here. And then um, we decorated the branch for the season. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And then are there any snowballs too? <laughs> oh, the, the string. Oh my gosh. To hang them from. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should have made a double knot. I think I made this too small to make a bow. Thank you so much. I'm like adding steps to the, you don't have to do this right now. Just do it on your next elf, but it just came to me, so. I figured I'd see if I could work it out. Work it out for you. <laughs> okay, so before we move on, we're going to add a pillow to the belly. I don't know. It doesn't really need to go over her ear. I just thought it would look cute, but it's going to get covered by the hat anyway. So, um, oops, I got one longer than the other one. Okay, so I'm using my core. I'm going to take about a four inch piece and give it a little stretch. And then just roll it in my hands. I want kind of a soft shape, so I'm rolling about a one inch pillow, and that should fit right under their face. And I'm going side to side with the fringe to each side, and that's gonna bring the belly out to the face. So that the, so that the face isn't just like hanging out in space so much. Well, you know, and there's elves, they like candy, candy canes. Yes. All that. Cookies, syrup. <laughs> what else? It's time to watch Elf now. I've also been in the mood for Moonstruck lately. Hmm. I have not seen that before <gasps> in a long time. Oh. Okay. I saw, it's been a long time, though. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you've never seen it. <laughs> there's, there's certain movies that will I couldn't quote get it that reaction. It, but, um, yeah, no. Oh, it's my gosh. Long time. I can quote it. Can I have a little bit of no news? Of course. Because right now, this is what mine's looking like. <laughs> so, yeah, you need a, <laughs> like, you need a face, face going on. <laughs> I feel like I need just another tiny little piece. Maybe I'll just go around. Oh, and okay, and then I'll show you guys the snowballs and icicles, and then we'll keep going. Oh, 
What is white, fluffy, and goes up? Oh, now the sun's out. I don't know what. Confused snowflakes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever seen, like, just the, when it's so fluffy and the wind is so yeah, bad? Yeah, it does that. It goes, yeah, they kind of go everywhere. Um, okay, so this is what the snowballs look like. So cool. Beads and sequins. Yeah, and I love this stuff. one. Little swirls on it. Oh my. Yeah, and then here's the icicles. And these were so simple. I'm trying to remember. I think yeah, I just wet felted. I'm trying to remember how I did how I did it. They're um, wet felted. And then I think to get the twists, I did like string when they were drying. When, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then these are just, these are just straight ones. And I love like the gray to white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is a lot of fishing line. Okie dokie. So now we can finish the face, make it a little cuter. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a little lip and Kylo's is a great example of this. So he just looks like he has an overbite. <laughs> so cute. Um, and then, but usually what I do is I bring the scarf or the, you know, the tunic like up. So it's like the kind of like they're just peeking out. It was actually inspired by, um, what's that fun movie with like all the mashup of the holidays animated? Oh, um, the Rise of the Guardians. Yes. She we love that, that movie. Yeah. Yeah, those little elves are pretty yeah, funny. They're adorable. Movie. So I I somewhere you should have, you know, little remnant pieces, but the lip it really is not much fiber at all. And I can use the about two or three dots in on the faces and just go one, two, three. That should do it. And I leave I leave the fringe instead of going all of the way around and like a little bit of stabbing before we put it on. So it's kind of like making a little double decker taco, but cheating. Just doing it the fast way. And then the fringe can kind of go up around the nose and then this on the sides going to each cheek. And I don't do a chin because, like I said, it's just I try to make them look really tucked in. Um, but it's your little, it's your little world. Okay. So then we have some cheeky in our kit. Here it is. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Cheeky is a house blend that's like perfect for little rosy cheeks. And I just really break it down in my fingers, like try to get almost like breaking the fiber to get super short little poofs. And then this helps hide the seams. Oh, are you coming over? All right. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Never know when he's coming over or not. Gonna climb if you need these. a little fringe of, um, of gnome nude, you can, you can unify the, the seam under the upper lip, and you can also get rid of the seam between the cheeks and ears. They do really get covered up mostly with a hat and <laughs> she's cracking me up. <laughs> oh my gosh. So 
glad the sun's coming out. It's making me happy. Like, what's that? It's a lot of back and forth. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful day too. The clouds are doing all kinds of cool things, and I think with that rain that we got the other night, it just like the leaves were like it's like we hit peak and then it was like gone. Yeah, like everything in the next week. I was telling the kids, I'm like, but it's, you guys are on the bus. It's crazy the, the color right now though. Yeah, it's still yeah. There's still some green out there. Yeah, and then like it's like everything's turning, but then some trees are just done. It was kind of a slow... Oh, I'm going to give her a little smile. Well, we're in, like, pretty much mid-November. Yeah. It and was... our peak is usually, like, late October. Yeah. Like, sometimes by Halloween, it's just done. Um, what do you need? So, why do elves make great listeners? I don't know why. They're all ears. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had that one. And here's a nice geeky one. How did Darth Vader know what Luke Skywalker <laughs> wanted for Christmas? I don't know how. He felt his presence. <laughs> that was funny. We got lots of goodies in this basket. Yeah, right? that's that's like a fun <laughs> tool basket. It is. She's gonna have to come home with me and live with me forever. This one. You know, before you had the face ace, um, I used to make ears on the tip of the Zuli tool. Yeah. And, the, and then um, just kind of like fold them yep. to get them really tiny. Yeah. Yeah, the tip of the Zuli tool works great for ears, chins. And when I used to fold from left to right, I would always do the other one right to left. Like I would do them opposite okay. when I did the little fold over. Mm -hmm. Because for some reason, when you fold it and then you stab it, it it, it, it gets does. a little curve, yeah. so that way you can have a left and a right ear versus yeah. two left ears. Or... That's very... <laughs> Just one of those little yeah. weird things that, as you're working, you kind of... Symmetry hmm. is always elusive. I know that, like, all of everything I make needs to go see the chiropractor, because if you... You're, like, wrapping the same way, so... All of the critters are like wound in a direction, you know, they're just like, ah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it is. And it's funny because you have to really step back and look at it sometimes and, you know, kind of figure it out. Yeah. Did you read all your birthday cards yet and eat all the chocolates? Oh, I absolutely like soaked up every birthday card, note, flower. I have not eaten all the chocolate, which is a good thing because <laughs> it was a lot of chocolate. I'm enjoying it very much. It was a lovely, like the best birthday ever. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was really awesome. It was very yeah. heartfelt. Yes, definitely. All right. Does everybody have their faces on? Because it's time to make um, a rebel without a clause. It's time to make um, the clothes. Need another minute? <laughs> I think you probably started. A yeah. Bit. Okay. So I am going to use the gold. Like I said, I made these guys with just the core. So you don't have to use a top coat, but I'm going to show you how to use the top coat. Um, in the kit before the lovely core, we, you know, we wanted the top coat in there. Ah! I gotta get that. <laughs> All right, we'll make the shirt first. And we'll get, I'm gonna use a coordinating core. And I want probably two three inch pieces. And then I want them to create one sort of three by three by four inch piece. 
So I'm laying the fiber vertically and letting them overlap a little bit so that it looks sort of seamless and then go for approximately four inches wide and then it's about three inches tall. You could check the circumference, but this is this just seems to work. Yeah, perfect. And then I want a prettier, a different top coat. So I'm going to take that and put it on top just as evenly as I can. And then I want to stab that just to get it stuck together a little bit. See if I have any bald spots. Put a little more. Put a, I'm just putting a little bit more to one side because this will end up being the, the top. Okay, so before I make the shape, I need to flip it over. If you're not using a top coat and just core, you don't have to flip it over but I need the pretty color to be on the bottom. And then a little strip going across is good because that stabilizes everything. Um, if, if you have all the fibers going up and down and you were to pull, it could pull apart, but this will keep it from being able to pull apart. And pretty much going across the middle. So I'm gonna fold this three inch piece. This is a taco. In half. And the way that I built this, the other side should have more consistent color, but this is a good job for the punch tool. Just make sure you lift it up before too long so things don't get too stuck. So you're kind of creating like a, a chunky fabric. Everybody's planning Who's on... Who's arriving where? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Tennessee. Be hungry when you arrive. Let it Pennsylvania. Where are we going? I think all 50 states. Mm -hmm. Although Alaska might be a little cold, a little far to get to. So I wonder what ever happened with the um, meetup expo, felting expo idea. Oh, I think there was a group created. I think Sue Bingham was on it. Okay, so I have kind of thicker at the bottom, wispy at the top, which is good because we want to keep that cone shape. So I like to center, center it on the front and I'm letting the bottom go just past, you know, the core area. And then how you treat this, I kind of like, you could fold it over, but I sort of just stab it. Like how you treat the fringe, because she's going to get a scarf or something. If you're not putting a scarf, you might want to take a little time to neaten up the, the fringe a bit more. So once I have that centered, I can bring it around the back. And then I got to give this a little tug here. And then I just see make this meet up and I totally cover the back of their head. So, um, it doesn't matter if fringe goes up the back of the head. Like I bring the hat down, so there's no hair on the back of the head or anything like that. And then when I stab this, I prefer to keep the cone shape so I don't stab the bottom around, but if you want them to look kind of more shaped and fat, you know, defined that way, you can. But I kind of stab it keeping the cone shape in mind.
this is a pretty color. It has a lot of colors in it. Butterscotch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the little Do you have what of... you need? Mm-hmm. I'm doing the little nose. I have his little... Oh, my gosh. His little... Would down. you put his ears down? Yep. Little so ears cute. down. Mm -hmm. I'll show yours um, in a minute. I know. I can't wait till we can travel again. I know. I have a, a trip. My friends um, booked a trip to Bali. And, Ooh. Right? It was supposed to happen back in 2020, and then they were postponed it until 2022. Just talking to Dave. I'm like, it's still not open. Like, you can't yeah. travel like that yet. Yeah. So, I'm like, maybe 2023. Um. Emanuele was talking about coming from Italy to help us with Dante, but I'm, I was surprised. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sort of out of touch with yeah. international travel and what's it allowed and what's on the, not allowed. Like every country, it's crazy. Dave has his new job and he was going to go to Costa Rica and we looked at the website and you had to have, it's allowed, you have to have proof of vaccination and then... Um, but you also had to have medical insurance specifically for traveling to cover, like, if you were to get COVID while you were overseas oh, wow. and in yeah. the hospital. And, like, it was super strict. Yeah. It was, like, like, yeah. So I guess each country has their own. Everything, everybody has different. Yeah. That's a little, yeah. It's so funny how um, these little guys, like, turn out so different. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple little project, but. They're, and all the embellishments, I love it. Well, Mary's saying she, they don't, she doesn't think they've been more than five miles from their house. I have, I have moved around a little bit, but it's definitely, yeah, still feels strange, you know, to travel. I know it's yeah. just every. I was just thinking, um, this morning we have a uh, family coming up for Thanksgiving. Um, well, around Thanksgiving time, we have my grandma's uh, funeral um, service to have, and. I was just like, wow, I remember when we were all first under restrictions. Like, you couldn't even go from, like, Maryland to Delaware yeah, Pennsylvania, yeah, like, right across crazy. state lines here. It was crazy. All right, so now we need to make the hat. And it's the same process, um, but we need to make a triangle. So I'm going to pull probably about three two-inch pieces. So two for the bottom and one for the top. So I'm trying to make a little triangle shape. And you want the base of the triangle to be about, you know, at least three to four inches wide because it's got to go all the way around the head. And same thing, I'm going to put the top coat on. I am going to use the same color. And I just want it to be as even as possible. I think it's fun to do the hats and all kinds of like the tip of the hat and a different color mm, well just in different ways like yeah. some people you know like bend them over yeah put little poofs on the top it would be cute kind of, it was kind of like that icicle to go like white on the tip like they're frosted Ooh, like an ombre yeah mm -hmm. that's what's so wonderful about this craft among 100 other things Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give that a little stab to make sure it stays lined up. And then flip it over. I've got to make the taco, so I'm just lifting it carefully here. And this time I want to put a strip around the the bottom where the fold is going to be. So I'm just going about three quarters of an inch up so where I can see that I'll get a nice even fold. I'll go across. And when you stab the fiber into the stab it or your felting surface, it locks it in there a little bit. And that's really helpful in getting a nice tight fold because you can push up against that, you know, use that. And then you want to stab all over. 
just to get a nice unified hat piece. So I'm concentrating a little bit more at the base because that's going to stick off and the rest of it is going to get felted into the core um, cone shape that we have. But yeah, so that's pretty good. What do you need? Uh, the cheeky? Yeah. A little bit of pink. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is the, this is the actual like, um, house carded cheeky. Yes, yes, it is. So I think I'll try her ears down. I don't have any like that. If I were going to do the pokey through ears, I would center my hat. I like to really have it down. Like it's just like, you know, flopping over her nose, like you can't see their eyes. You don't want it like up back here. That's what the <laughs> crazy flying here. <laughs> it's just like really loud and like stuck on Dive you. Bombing. So in, I don't put it back against the head like this. I sort of like flop it down. So if I were cutting out the ears, I would figure out where that needs to be. And take my fold it like this and take my scissors and just cut a little a little spot and then i put it down and i actually kind of felt it open like a buttonhole um it doesn't have to be you know super well felted just um just so that it doesn't fray so i'm going to start by tacking it centered where i want it And then I'm going to come around. What? <laughs> it's like he has a little tongue or something in there. Oh, you gave him a little I gave him upside a little down lip. With like a... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're that frumpy. He's a... Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's a character they already. They just sometimes His make you laugh. Like they just... <laughs> <can be up>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to just... With like a tongue. What is that? What is that? Is that peppermint in there? What's going on? Oh, peppermint. <laughs> and then I work my way around to the back and try to make this as seamless as possible. I could put a little extra of the top coat if I need it. <laughs> and I think I'll need it because I have some kind of wacky chick yellow showing through here this my pen tool is like way too strong hmm. i think i was felting something big and i'll put some 36 yeah in there, man. <laughs> so when i felt the hat i work all over keeping the triangle in mind and um rubbing it in your hands sort of Helps. Yeah, it's new to I know. <laughs> yeah, if only we had products. Oh my gosh. For that kind of thing. What? Not my breath? <laughs> we can't quite You don't can like that, that idea? <laughs> can't can that. Oh God. You wouldn't want to. <laughs> Depends on the day, right? Oh my gosh. She's making me laugh. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to put a little, little top coat back here just to. Neaten that up a little bit. Oh, stabbing is so much fun. Yes, I should stick to stabbing. Yes. Yeah, little projects like this just, you know, it's perfect some days. It is. Um, 
I remember teaching a few beginner classes for people, you know, never, never felt it. And like, I just, I love that reaction when people are like, oh my God, this is so I nice. Know. Just stabbing. I know. And it's like, yes. <laughs> All like, of it. You've joined the club. So I can find her a scarf, but I have this nice red. Bring it all together. I actually put a post on my personal page about the felt long because I don't usually you know, I don't use it use it that way, not for work, but mm -hmm. it's like I, I don't know, I want like my friends to know how awesome this is, you know. Yes. I want more people to discover it. Yeah. Molly wouldn't have had you over that. Oh one my time. gosh. Molly was so good at this. Mm-hmm. I know. I remember she was like, Hey, my friend like, Sarah's coming over. Do you want to come and felt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I do. She's like crazy good at it. Oh, yeah. I still have all my very first projects. We did a snowman. This is, this is how you, we did a snowman. We did a gnome, like similar to this. We did like four things. And then we, yeah, and then we did like uh, a baby seal, I think, or something like that. It was crazy. Like we yeah. did so many things like in a couple of hours. Right. Oh my gosh. Very. And you guys were setting up to have an open house at the mill. Oh my gosh. And that was the first time I think I bought anything here. Why are Christmas trees so bad at needle felting? I don't know why. They're always dropping their needles. <laughs> oh boy, that looks a little too, a little too wrapped up. <laughs> what? what do you call an old snowman? I don't know what. Water. I was going to say, I was like, ice, but that's not quite right. That's funny. That's a Delaware snowman, I think. Yeah. Because it, <laughs> it thaws and then it refreezes. Maryland snowman. So this red, I think this is a bamboo um, yarn, maybe. It doesn't really felt, so you got to kind of maybe tack a little red fiber on there or something. Where mm -hmm. you can't see it. <laughs> I love her. So I decided to I was trying to fit a lot of things in and we took away the felt along in December. <laughs> we, but we're going to do the 2D discussion. So I'm really excited about that. A handful of people are sending their actual pieces here. And, you know, between what I have and theirs, we're going to be able to cover a lot of things to think about um, in composition and color and you know, it just really pulls a lot of the art, you know, a lot of my art background together with the fiber. Um, so I'm super excited about that. 
So that's what we're going to do on December 11th, I think is the date. Pretty sure about that. It's on the calendar. Um, I still like to do, we put the snowman boodles out. I haven't put it on the calendar, but I would, a snowman felt along. The only trick about it is, um, oh, John, will you do me a big favor? Will you, I think my snowman's in the photography area. Um, is it has the wet felting component. So, um, yeah, yeah, I have one that's, that's finished. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. I love, you know, to go from fine art with the cost of framing and glass and shipping art all over. Someone just mentioned that <laughs> the weight of things. Oh yeah. The end having other friends like you do ceramics and or glass or iron or bronze or <laughs> wool is like the so best. Light. <laughs> I had a friend who had an Etsy shop kind of the same time I did who was doing um she baked like really fancy cookies and macaroons and stuff. And so they're like fragile, thank you. They're fragile and they have a shelf life and like Oh my gosh, you know, yeah. just like, I just, I love that we could just put this stuff in a box and off it goes. We can shove it in there. Yeah, I mean, we'll it's so awesome. it. Oh my gosh, how many times do we have the team? I have, yeah. Somebody come over here and hold this box while I take we it. We can really shove stuff in there. So this is a snowman. I really like this project. And in the vessel tutorial, I covered what you need to do pumpkins and the snowballs. Um, but we, we did talk about how I put the snowman together, but we didn't do it. So I thought it would be really fun to do, um, but that's a little bit still up in the air, but we did make um, snowman boodles and I think there are still some, but I do like this. Um, I do like this project a lot. Oh my Where does he want to be? He wants to be in here. He wants to be in the mix. And it just, it also has a ton of potential for embellishment and expressions and, you know, different, different things. <laughs> My little girl elf is cracking me up. I know, I can see if I can feed a wire in there. That would be fun. I still have to do the bottom and embellish. Okay. That's why oh, I did a little ombre so top cute. on him. They're like, he's her little friend. Uh, right? I'll finish his little They coat. don't want to rap or make toys. They just want to go play. They want to go, yeah, and, and suck on peppermints. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a little <laughs> white stripe in there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Can you guys oh. see this? <laughs> mhm. Mm so cute. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mary's asking uh, if we feel like you need to punch air holes in the box when you ship critters. Oh yes, and yes. Sometimes you're like, I'm sorry, I'm putting you in this suffocating plastic mm -hmm. bag. <laughs> right. <laughs> I start, I do start talking to them after a certain point when I'm making them and then it does get really weird to stab them, did you know, in the you? eyeballs did and then answer you back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh my gosh. Can you do a close up on the faces? Different faces? Yeah. I have my funny one. Back okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, let's let's do a little. I'm gonna zoom in. Maybe. I'm gonna take it. no. Is it as zoomed as it can be, John? Sorry, what? what? You what? What? Is it as zoomed <laughs> as it can be? Oh wait, it's zooming. It's okay. the delay. <laughs> I'm like, it's not zooming, and now it's about like... <laughs> ten seconds. It's quite zoomed. It's quite zoomed. Wait, I have to go back. Okay. Okay, that was funny. All right, so here's her little face. I kind of poked a corner of the mouth up, which kind of makes a like a smirk. It's, uh, it's extremely zoomed. It is extremely zoomed. Okay, wait. Now I'm off. Do you want me to? Uh... No, it's okay. I can get it right. I just have to move this up and over. And wait for it. <laughs> I can see it in the live version. I can see it. Okay, it's good. And then this is a Marshall. <laughs> he can't decide if he's a little kid or an old man. Uh, you know, he kind of has an old man like, oh, yeah, yeah. Know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got some like chew <laughs> in his lip. 
<laughs> it's peppermint. Yeah, he's chewing on his tongue in there. He's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, he's funny. Gum All right, wait, let's see some other ones. Can I show yours, John? Sure. Yes, good. This is John's. That I think he's the news broadcaster elf. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> he's like this just in. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic on the tundra. There's a reindeer pile up. <laughs> this was Jennifer's. She really got her nose in between the cheeks. <laughs> He's so cute. She put every color in it. It's adorable. This guy's like hidden by his scarf. Like Talbot. Mm -hmm. Talbot always comes in here all wrapped up. From like October until like <laughs> <No>. April. <laughs> oh, I love Kyla's. I just love his little his little face. This is Sassy's. <laughs> so cute. Talbot. He cracks me up. He's got pointy little ears and a pointy nose. They yeah, are adorable. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see your guys' elves. Um, I hope you make lots, hang them on your tree, attach them to a gift. They're great on a gift. Keep them out of sunlight. <laughs> I had a couple that I, I made a couple years ago, and uh, they were in a shop, and they were left in the sun, like in the window, and like... I was. I looked at them. Oh, like, I was like, oh, they're so about? faded. Okay. Yeah, if you leave them in direct sunlight, yeah. the wool, the colors, it's just what happens, yep. like anything else. Yeah. Like direct sunlight. Um. <laughs> How long should the scarf be? Oh, that's a good question. You want it to be like plenty, you know, or I don't know, maybe more than you think. Let's see. This guy's is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Wow, so that, that way long. you could, you know, you could knot it or it could go twice, you know, totally up to you and what kind of look you're going for, but I could stab it on there so it stays where I put it. <laughs> any other questions before we all go our separate ways and say goodbye and hopefully have a wonderful weekend um could be anything now's the time <laughs> oh the camel i haven't made a camel in a long time there's a lot of things i haven't made in a long time and i see them and i and i'm like i should make that I haven't made a donkey in forever. I haven't made a fox in forever. Um, reindeer. It's been a, quite a while for the reindeer. Mm -hmm. um, I think the moose was the last big class we had before the pandemic, right? Um, that one was. Oh, yeah. That was right yeah. before everything. Yeah. So. Could you add arms? arms? Sure, you could add arms. Yeah. You can do anything you want. <clears throat> um the sale we're having a fiber monday sale it's not on cyber monday it's actually is it the monday before thanksgiving that monday you mean like this monday coming up this monday <laughs> wait, wait let me look at the calendar it should be on the calendar um because the thanksgiving is the 25th yeah. are we doing it the 22nd the 22nd yeah yep. so yeah the monday um, yes, we're very confident in our shipping abilities <laughs> <laughs> to get it done before we all disappear for Thanksgiving. Um, so yes, not not the normal Cyber Monday. It's going to be the Monday before Thanksgiving, and um, and then we'll we'll have our end of year clearance um, inventory sale. The board I had on the easel was um, a hard foam insulation. You can get it at a hardware store. It's a two inch 
hard foam insulation and it it lasts for a long time um, and works works really well when you're doing a large flat piece it's nice nice thing to have yeah <laughs> all right everybody thank you so much for being here today um this was a lot of fun this is a fun project and i know they're going to start popping up on fanfare and i really am excited to see them and your goofy faces and colors and scarves and choices i know it's going to go like everybody just gets really creative and you know yeah takes it <laughs> takes it to the next step so all right, we're going to say goodbye. Okay, bye. Thank you.